Hi there, it's Claire from Clarified Creations and it is super, super early. Today is my first day on the floor as a cardiac nurse and I am incredibly, incredibly nervous and just sort of anxious to be really real with you all. It's been a bit of a rough night trying to get to sleep and everything, but I actually did get to sleep, not at a bad time, I'd say maybe 10.30. So I got around six hours of sleep. Time to head in. It's August 22nd, 2023, and I work a full 12 today with a preceptor, but my preceptor is currently taking vacation, so I'm gonna be with the charge nurse today. And I have met her, and she's nice, but I really don't know what to expect for my first day. I don't know if I'm gonna be expected to do things by myself or not. We'll see. This is the OOTD. All black with a hint of navy blue. Hair is back in my clocklet because that takes three seconds and I like it when things take three seconds. Gray socks. <laughs> oh man. I think the anticipation is just really what is harder. I know some of you guys relate to that, but whew. yeah, try not to think about it too much because a lot of times it is just so much worse in your head than what it's going to be, and I'm not expecting the day to be bad by any means, but I am constantly thinking of all the what ifs, and there's a lot of what ifs in nursing, and you really can't do that. I might try and call my mom. She is currently in Thailand. So there is a 11 hour difference and I might try and talk to her for a couple minutes and say good morning slash good night to her because it's her night and my morning. Good morning again <laughs> with the bright flashlight. I know the lighting is bright. <laughs> I'm here at the hospital. And I'm going to go in in a couple minutes. I don't know if I talked about this or not, but I'm going to be decorating my locker. So that'll be fun and exciting to do to just make it a little more personalized. I am kind of early, but I do want to just go ahead and go in and get everything prepared, get all my supplies out, put them in my pockets. Because if you guys are a nurse too, you know that you've got a million things to put in your pockets. Scissors, pens, markers, all of that. So I will see you guys maybe at lunch or after the shift. Well guys, I am officially back home from my shift. Wow. That was a lot. It was super crazy. The floor was really busy. I still feel like I'm hearing call lights and beeping in the back of my head. It's whew, lots of stimulation on day shift. I get there and everything and I get assigned an amazing preceptor. She's not going to be my main preceptor. In fact, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to be with her once or twice. So this might have just been it. But she was great. I really, really appreciate all of her patience. And it is very helpful to have someone that is really kind. And she actually knew someone that was a professor at my school, which was also very reassuring to hear that. And they were friends. So it was all really a good experience from that aspect. And we got report, had six patients, which is a lot especially on a heart floor where you're dealing with drips and high risk medications and some of these patients are very very sick including you know going in and out of rhythms that can be very dangerous so all of that we were incredibly busy there was a point where from eight o'clock till a little past 12 we did not sit down we were just go 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 from one room to the next room it was medication, medication, medication. Whoa. So that's gonna be something to get used to is just the overall pace of it. It's not what I was expecting, especially since a lot of them are heart calf patients. I kind of expected it to be a little less stressful, but 
I was wrong. Okay, I just ended up changing my card out, but I thought I would finish up talking about the rest of the day. So we got to lunch and we ate a little past 12 o'clock, around 12.15ish, and someone actually brought in cake because it was one of the tech's birthdays, so we had chocolate cake. And if you guys know me, you know that is kind of the way to my heart, so I really enjoyed that. And they even had ice cream too, but sad story, I ended up dropping the ice cream thing, so I didn't have ice cream with mine. I could have gotten another one. I kind of had my chance, and I didn't want to take two ice creams, so there was that whole situation. I seriously opened the ice cream because it was in a little, you know, container that big. And drop it straight on the floor. I thought, yep, good morning. <laughs> or no, good afternoon. And then this morning, I dropped my clipboard and made a really loud noise at 6.30 in the morning. So that was clumsy Claire right at you too, making a grand entrance. I did end up decorating my locker though. I'll try and insert a picture up here. I'm pretty excited with how it turned out. I might add maybe one more picture or two pictures. We'll see, do a little rearranging, but for now, it's very nice. Yeah, I also got to titrate some drips, so cardism drip, heparin drip, and those are blood thinners and rhythm drugs that um, help with your heart rate, which was scary, guys. I am, I am pretty terrified to do this whole nursing thing, just being super real again. I am not trying to sugarcoat it or anything. Nursing is very hard, and I didn't realize how hard and how demanding and exhausting it was until I really got into it, which was basically today. I saw some of the real life aspects of it that you just don't see as a student or in clinicals or even in classrooms, and you get glimpses here and there, but you really get to see all of it. And I am so blessed to have a floor that has all been super welcoming, very, very kind people. I have a great support system. I know everybody is on my team and we're all part of a team together. And I feel really, really supported is what I can basically say. Throughout this whole process, the hospital I've been at has been fantastic. So I don't want you guys to think that it's, you know, not a great atmosphere because it is but reality of it is the nurses are very short staffed and you do have to take on more patients than normal sometimes and there are some getting seven eight i've heard of 14 patients and that's with team nursing so you'll have an rn and lpn the rest of the day i gave some medications by myself which it, it is all so so new guys i will continue to update you all on this journey how i'm feeling but right now day one it is so intimidating and my brain just feels like mush after all of that it was a long day i definitely felt it towards the end as it was getting closer to four o'clock even one of my patients commented and she said how you doing claire you look like you're getting a little droopy and i thought oops <laughs> That's kind of bad that my patient can tell. Did report and everything. I didn't actually do any of the reports. I need to figure out a system of how I want to get report because there are sheets that you can fill out for your situation background assessment recommendations, kind of what they call um, nursing handoff, a SPAR report. But everybody has their own system, so I'm just going to try and see what works for me. People have different brains, so... That is also something to think about. So I'm going to be kind of seeing through trial and error. I'm just going to stop talking because I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, I am going to take a shower and I will see you all later for the next few shifts and the next couple months of this nursing journey. Bye!